Hello and welcome to this sort for the day for Thursday the 2nd of July. And today we're heading from 2 John into 3 John in this series I'm calling Love Letters. Uh, and uh, 3 John is not a letter that uh, John wrote to the church uh, or, or a church that was uh, a little way away from him. Uh, but 3 John is uh, written to an individual called Gaius. We're not entirely sure who Gaius is. There's a few Gaiuses it seems mentioned in the New Testament. Uh, but this Gaius is not in the same place that John is. He's a member of another church uh, and John is writing to encourage him. Uh, uh, John says uh, at the end uh, of the letter that he would like to be able to see Gaius in person uh, rather than write him a long letter. Uh, so he's written him this short letter. Uh, and uh, similar to, um, uh, to John where he says he loves the, uh, the church in the truth that he's writing to, he says to Gaius in verse 1, uh, to my dear friend Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Uh, we're going to have a look at uh, the verses 2 to 4 of the letter today. Uh, and let me read them to you. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, just as you are progressing spiritually. It gave me great joy when some believers came and testified about your faithfulness to the truth, telling how you continue to walk in it. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Uh, so um, uh, in verse 2 of this, uh, of this letter, we see uh, that... Uh, John says, I pray that you have good health, uh, talking about sp uh, physical health. Uh, but he also uh, says that I know you're progressing well spiritually. He talks about his spiritual health. Um, uh, when it comes to uh, physical health, uh, standing still is a good thing. You, 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 we, 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 mostly with our health, we don't want to deteriorate. Uh, the fewer trips we have to make to the doctors, the better. Uh, we'd rather not see the doctor. Uh, but... Um, uh, here, uh, the elder speaks to Gaius and says that he's progressing spiritually. When it comes to our spiritual health, uh, then standing still is no good. Uh, to, to be healthy spiritually, we need to be making progress. Uh, we need to be uh, going forward in the walking in the truth that John uh, talks about. And we can see from these uh, verses that, um, that progress requires two things. It's there in verse 3. The elder John is happy that Gaius is, uh, is faithful to the truth. And so progress requires proficiency in the truth, first of all. Proficiency in the truth. Um, we, we will make progress as Christian believers uh, as, we, uh, as we get to know Jesus, the truth, better. And we can do that by reading the Bible. Uh, the, the more we, um, we get to know the pages of the Bible, both Old and New Testaments, uh, Jesus said that the Old Testament taught uh, all about him. So uh, getting to know the Old Testament is great too. Uh, we can obviously uh, get to know Jesus in the Gospels. Uh, and uh, the apostles wrote letters to churches uh, so that we could get to know Jesus as well. And the more that we get to know the pages of the Bible, uh, then uh, the more progress we can make in the Christian life. Um, some of us uh, uh, find it quite easy to open the pages of the Bible and uh, and work out what it means on our own. But uh, uh, for others of us, uh, uh, then it's quite helpful to have some help. And um, uh, these explore notes are one example of Bible reading notes that make it uh, uh, quite easy. If you type explore Bible reading notes into Google, then you'll find them. I think this is from the Good Book Company, which are a good place to get them from. Uh, they give you a, a little bit of the Bible each day, a short amount, and some questions to help you think about it. Uh, so if you're not used to reading the Bible, then this is a really good way to, to get into the habit of it. Uh, most people find that reading the Bible every day uh, is a good way to get to know it better and to make progress. Uh, secondly, uh, we can see in verse 3 um, uh, that uh, the elder is happy that Gaius is walking in the truth. It, so progress requires proficiency, but it also requires practice. Um, uh, we, we need to practice walking in the truth. We need to practice doing what the Bible says. Uh, we need to practice obeying Jesus' word. Uh, just as to uh, uh, be able to get your, your golf game going well, you have to practice your putting. Uh, or skateboarders <laughs> clearly need to practice their tricks. And uh, I, I learned the violin when I was younger. And I'm not so good at it anymore because I've stopped practicing. Uh, we need to practice if we're going to make progress. Um, and um, uh, towards the end of... Uh, 3 John, uh, the elder talks about another way that we can help ourselves uh, walk in the truth, and that's to imitate others. Um, uh, just as a boy would uh, imitate his father to learn how to shave, 
um, because uh, in verse 11, uh, the elder writes to Gaius, uh, dear friend, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. Anyone who does what is good is from God, and anyone who does what is evil has not seen God. Uh, by imitating those uh, who are walking in the truth, uh, we, we learn how to, to walk in the truth and make progress in, in living, uh, following the footsteps of Jesus ourselves. And, and the elder says to Gaius um, that it gives him great joy to hear these reports that other Christians have brought back to him, that Gaius is making progress in the Christian life. Um, it, it gives him no greater joy, he says in verse 4, to, than to know that his children are walking in the truth. Um, and John is an apostle. He speaks with Jesus' voice. And so um, Jesus is delighted. It gives joy to Jesus when we make progress in our Christian life. And so that's great motivation, isn't it? To keep pushing on, to keep uh, gaining proficiency in the truth by getting to know the Bible really well and to practice walking in the truth. Let me pray for us. Our Father, uh, we uh, thank you for this uh, uh, vision, this image that it, it, gives, uh, it gives John the Apostle and, and Jesus joy uh, when Christians make progress in their walk. We ask, Father, that you would help us to make a daily habit of reading our Bibles, and as we do, you would help us to know Jesus the truth better and better. And we also ask, Father, that you would help us to make a habit of practising walking in the truth, of, of practising listening to Jesus' voice and doing what he says. Give us, Father, um, people to imitate uh, older and wiser Christians in our lives and help us to, to follow them as they follow Jesus so that we might bring joy to our Saviour, in whose name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll tune in again as we finish off 3 John in, on Friday and Saturday. God bless. How wonderful the Father's love.